All right, welcome back. This is Alan McNabb with ImageBuildingMedia.com, uh, and uh, now we're going to install the Avada theme. This is where I left you. It's just a very simple theme that's installed, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna install a theme that's uh, gonna look uh, really nice very quickly. Let me give you a little peek here. This is the Avada travel theme. So we want to install Avada, and uh, then the video after this, we're going to uh, set this up. Uh, to be a nice little website. So uh, let's let's get started. Uh, first thing I want to do, and I might have uh, might should have done this in the last um, the last tutorial. Um, I'm going to go here to users, and I want to uh, change the password. Uh, right now, I've just got the default password uh, that was given to me with the uh, setup in cPanel, and now I'm going to change this. I'm going to hover over that user. I'm going to click Edit. And I'm going to uh, just scroll down here. It says Generate Password right there. I'm going to hide it so I can type it right here. I'm going to double check that. All right. All right, so it is saving that. Now the next thing I want to do is I'm just going to uh, log out and log back in to make sure that I put that all in there correctly and that it works very well. So I just hovered over the username, clicked log out. Now I can log back in. This is the username we set up when installing through cPanel. I'm going to try that one more time. And this is the new password. All right, so uh, we're in the back end, so that was fine. Okay, so um, next thing we've uh, next thing we've got to do, whichever theme you use, uh, if, if you're going to uh, purchase a theme, you need to do that. Uh, I'm going to use an Avada theme. You can find it uh, very easily, just Avada theme. You see, I did this Google search, and uh, I can go there and see the theme, and I can go right here and uh, purchase. Uh, the reason I'm uh, using the Avada theme is because uh, it's got a lot of great features. It's very easy to use, and uh, has even got to the point where it's being used by web developers. Uh, it's that good. And so it's just no need to spend time uh, coding by hand, what we can do just very quickly. And uh, then the web developer will just uh, do some of the customizations uh, beyond the standard things there. Uh, but it makes it a lot quicker, and you can get up and going much faster. So, uh, so it's very good. Um, and uh, you can, uh, of course, purchase this. You go down here. You can purchase now. And, uh, okay, let's see here, hang on one sec. Yeah, I, okay, well, I'm logged in, so it doesn't show a price here because I've already purchased it. Um, but anyway, um, you, uh, you'll see a price right here of $60. Uh, you don't need to um, purchase any extra support. And uh, $60, you might say, well, you know, I was really wanting something free, uh, but, you know, if you get something free, you get what you pay for. It's like someone saying, I want a nice car, but they say, I want a free car. What kind of car are you going to get for free? Uh, for $60, Avada is is worth the money over and over and over again. It's going to save you lots and lots of time, and you're going to have a much nicer website than you would ever have otherwise. So uh, $60 right there is um, is is the best thing you're going to do. So uh, just uh, going to get you an account and uh, go on and purchase this. Uh, after uh, you uh, purchase it, just come over here, hover over your username, and click on Downloads. When you come to Downloads, just just click on uh, just click on that. It'll open up here. 
just uh, just download uh, all files and documentation and uh, also go on and download your certificate uh, and purchase code you can download PDF and or a text file uh, either way or both is fine go on and download those make sure you know where they're at because we will uh, we will use those so I'll give you just a few moments to do that uh, uh, purchase and download Avada and your certificate and purchase code and I will come back in just a few minutes all right so uh, back with you I hope uh, everything was uh, successful downloading uh, the files and your license information and uh, once you do that um, here's mine just unzip this and uh, I use 7-zip uh, or you could uh, use the uh, Windows uh, program that comes with it or some other and just unzip those and uh, if you want to pause the video for a second while that happens and uh, then uh, depending on what you had downloaded uh, you may have to go in the directory and you'll 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 find Avada and uh, you click that Avada full package then Avada theme and then you'll find the two themes you'll find the main Avada zip file and the Avada child theme uh, zip file what we're going to do we're going to download uh, we're going to upload both of these to the website uh, and these will be the themes the child theme is a theme that's there just for the purpose of your personal changes that you make that way whenever you uh, update uh, the Avada theme your changes will not be overwritten in other words erased so we have the child theme here any changes we make um, uh, customization they go in there and uh, that way we can update upgrade the theme without destroying our changes all right so um, I'm going to go back uh, to the back end of the website here is our dashboard okay so we're going to go appearances then click on themes Now we're going to click on Upload. And another screen will come up. We're going to click on Upload Theme. We're going to choose File. And uh, we're going to go to the directory where these two zip files are at. The first one we do is Avada. So we'll click that click install now now that's a large file it's a lot of software here that's going to take a few moments so I'm just going to pause you for just a minute and I'll be back when that's complete alright so the upload of that theme is complete so I click activate and that'll take just a moment all right now we need to uh, upload our child theme that's where we'll make any customizations again appearances themes and then we click upload then we click upload theme we choose the file this time it is the child theme click install now and that won't take very long at all it's very small and we click activate all right now the next thing that we uh, that we want to do is we want to do our product registration and this is very important so that you can get updates to the theme um, Avada allows uh, you to install the theme on one domain name and uh, so if you were to do a uh, different domain and use Avada again you would need to buy a second copy so we're going to uh, go here to product registration and there's three things that are needed our username for our inc account with Envato, our purchase code, which remember we uh, we 
we downloaded the purchase code. This is what we unzipped. And uh, if you just open either one of these, uh, you'll find your purchase code in there. And then we also need an API key. Now the instructions are right here to get the API key. Uh, basically you just go to support, you log in, you've got your login information, and you generate your API key. You can click right here to get a tutorial on that, but uh, it's, it's rather simple to do. Uh, you'll get an API key. When you get that, come back here and enter that. So you've got all three of those items entered. Click Submit and you'll get a you'll get a message that everything went fine with that. Uh, so I'll let you um, I'll let you go on and uh, take care of that, and I'll meet you back here in just a bit. All right, so I'm back with you. Uh, you see that the registration on this website is complete, and yours should be also. Now the next thing we want to do is uh, click on system status and uh, this will let us know if uh, we have uh, proper resources to be able to uh, run the Avada theme and do the things that we're going to do here. Um, yeah, we scroll on down here and you're going to get a message that uh, your memory limit is too low and I'll show you how to raise that in just a minute minute. You probably have um, uh, an error read here that your PHP time limit is too low and your max input bars are too low. And uh, that is uh, an issue that you'll need to take up with your web host. Uh, you may be able to uh, change these. You uh, might be able to, uh, to ask them to change these. Uh, and uh, you, you'll just have to go from there. You see uh, we've already made changes to this website. All right, so contact your web host about this right here. All right, so uh, this here, this is a WordPress issue right here, so we'll deal with this. And uh, if you want to, I'm just going to open this up in a new tab, and you'll see information here about this. Basically, the situation that we have here is that uh, we're going to uh, download a copy of the uh, WP config file and we're going to uh, define the uh, memory limit that we have there. All right, so now to do this, uh, and you might as well go on and take care of this right now, um, you, know, you could you know, go through the cPanel and use the file manager there, uh, but really you just need to go on and take care of this. Uh, if you're going to be doing much of anything with a website, you need to go on and uh, have a program to do FTP. It's just file transfer protocol. It's just moving files from your PC to the web server and the web server down to your PC. Now the uh, best out there, uh, it is free uh, for the individual users, FileZilla and uh, just FileZilla, do a search right there. Just click and you could have just said uh, download the client right there. And so it'll take you there. Just download that, install it on your computer. All right, so you might want to pause the video. I'm going to move on. And once you have that installed, then you just need to just need to set that up. I'm going to go to File, Site Manager. You see I've already got this installed right here. And uh, basically all you do is click New Site, give it a name. And I'll show you what I do right here is, is uh, the host is FTP dot, whatever your domain name is. Protocol is FTP file transfer protocol. And encryption, these are, I think will be default right there. Use explicit FTP over TLS if available. Login type, normal. Then this is just, these two items is just your cPanel login. And then click connect. I want to do that. Uh, I've got something else going, abort uh, for the new uh, setup. Yes, do that. All right. So here are all the files on the web server. And yes, if you go in here and delete the files that you shouldn't delete, your website's not going to work. So uh, 
just be very careful what you're doing. All right, so you can see over here, this is on the left-hand side is my computer. On the right-hand side is the server. Uh, so here is my directory for the website we're working on. In that directory, uh, I have another directory called Custom System Files. And uh, this is where I put all of my files that I need uh, that I'll uh, edit. I do keep a copy of the Avada theme right there in case I need to uh, reference it for some reason, although I don't make changes to that. All my customizations are in the child theme. All right, so uh, we're going to go into the root for the website. So that's public HTML for this uh, server. Uh, different servers, platforms will have something a little different there. Your web host can help you with that. Okay, so I'm going to download wpconfig.php and for this I just right click and I click download and you will see it right there. That's been downloaded to my computer. Now I'm going to navigate to that file. And you can see my custom system files. You can see my wpconfig.php. I'm going to open with Notepad. All right, so um, you can see down, I'm going to go down through here just to make sure that uh, memory has not already been set. All right, so we're going to add. We're going to add a couple of lines here. I'll put these in the comments. I want to just copy those from Notepad. And bring them down here to this Notepad. And right above where it says, that's all, stop editing happy blogging, I'm just going to add these two lines. And uh, it's just defining it that uh, WordPress auto update core is false. Uh, in other words, uh, the uh, WordPress is not going to automatically update. Sometimes it does, it's fine. Sometimes it breaks the site and you don't know it. So I always put false. I go in there and do all the upgrades manually. And the second one, WP memory limit is now defined to 256 meg. And again, the documentation that we saw over here when we opened up this other page, you can see that it's, uh, that it's got this and it was recommended to go to 256. So um, I'm just going to save this, come back over here to FileZilla. Now I click on this file, right click upload, and that uploads it. Yes, replace, that uploads it to the server. Now I'm going to come in here, I'm going to uh, refresh this uh, page analyzing the system system status here. And you see, I'm green 256, and so I've got uh, I've got nothing red there. Good to go. All right, um, Matt does it. All right, so uh, the next uh, in the next tutorial, what we're going to do is uh, actually take this and turn it into a website. Um, I'll just reload this right here. This is what it looked like with the default theme. And uh, now we have added Avada. There you see Avada. And uh, it's just basically a blank page. So we're going to actually turn this into a website. And using Avada is going to be surprisingly easy to do. All right, so that'll be our next tutorial. And uh, we'll, see ya. we'll see you on the other side.